Most of you are familiar how to use Loctite thread lockers when locking and sealing nuts and bolts. But when we work in a blind hole situation, things are a little different. The air in the hole needs to get out. And if we have thread locker strictly on the stud itself, then you're not going to get proper distribution of the thread locker alone. So we're going to walk through the steps of how to do this. First, anytime using a Loctite thread locker, we should clean the bolts. In this case, we're going to use Loctite ODC free cleaner degreasers. Wipe off the excess. And like a standard nut and bolt, we're going to apply thread locker onto the stud. But what we're also going to do is apply a couple drops down inside the blind hole along the side of the threads. This will ensure when I screw the assembly together, as the air comes out, I get proper thread locker distribution up and along those threads. Now, just take, tighten, and torque your assembly. Most people are familiar how to use Loctite thread lockers, but a lot of the questions we seem to get are how do I get apart a red high strength thread locker? Everybody understands the benefits of the locking and sealing capabilities, it's just getting it apart. If you've used a blue removal thread locker, all we're doing at this point is whatever hand tools you put it together with, we're taking it apart with. When we use a red high strength thread locker, those same hand tools will not work as effectively. It's a very simple solution to that though, and as simple as taking a little bit of concentrated heat. What you do is you heat that fastener. Unlike a typical plastic, it does not drip or come running out. It's a thermal set plastic, and what it needs to do is soften. A little bit of concentrated heat for a couple minutes. Again then, grab those hand wrenches, and take that assembly apart. When working with a threaded assembly that's already been tightened and torqued, but you want to get the benefit of the locking and sealing capabilities that a Loctite thread locker can bring to it, we have the answer for you. It comes in the form of Loctite 290. What this is is a wicking grade thread locker. So when applied to the threads, will wick itself in, will also wick down, and through capillary action, wick itself up, filling the threads, getting that locking and sealing we're looking for. For proper gasketing, of machine services, we want to look at using Loctite gasket eliminator products. First though, we want to make sure we clean the flanges. We're going to use Loctite ODC free cleaner degreaser. We will clean both assemblies. Next, we want to apply primer to one surface and do it actually to the opposite surface than where you're going to be using the gasket eliminator. The reason for this is you don't want it to start to set until you bring the flanges together. Next, apply the gasket eliminator. Single bead all the way around, making sure you go around all the bolt holes. We're now ready to put the two flanged assemblies together to get that reliable seal. In this particular application, we're going to look at the disassembly and cleaning of flanges that have been put together and sealed using Loctite gasket eliminator. First, let me remove the bolts. Now, we're going to look at disassembling these two halves. Now that we have the flanges separated, we're going to show how to remove the cured gasket eliminator. What we're going to use is Loctite chisel. What we do is hold the can like this, we spray on, wait for the foaming action, and let it sit for five to ten minutes. Now that we've waited that ten minutes, what we're going to do is take and actually scrape off the gasket eliminator. 
As you can see, it very easily removes and comes right off. You can also see that it started to pull itself in these areas here. This product is also highly effective when being used on baked on cork or rubber gaskets. As you see by using Loctite chisel, we've been able to remove that gasket and get a nice clean surface ready to go back into operation without any major gouges or marks. So what we're going to now do is apply 5203 Loctite flange sealant around this assembly. Making sure that we go around all the bolt holes. One continuous bead. Now the product has been applied, you're able to put your flanges together. Now that this assembly has been in service for a while, it's come back in for some additional repairs. What we'd like to do is show how easy the Loctite 5203 gasket eliminator comes off these flanges. As you can see, with even a plastic putty knife, how easily that gasket comes off without any other assistance needed. This makes for a very quick return for these flanges to be back in service. What happens when you find yourself in a situation where you have a walled oak keyway and you're looking to get the shaft back up and running in service, but you don't have the funds to replace it, nor the time to wait for that new shaft to come in. We have a solution for you. It's Loctite Quick Metal 660 product. A couple steps we have to follow first before we go and apply it is number one, we're going to clean the assembly using ODC free cleaner degreaser. Wipe off the residue from that. Then we're going to take the primer end product. What this is going to do, it's going to help speed the cure of the 660 products so we can get the assembly back into service quicker. But number two, what it's going to do for you is help fill the larger gap we're looking at. Thirdly, we will apply product down into the shaft. We will put the key stock down into it. The product comes up and around. What it's going to do is we're going to get a thermal set bond between the shaft and the key stock. We'll wipe off any excess. Within an hour, we'll be able to put this back into service. In this procedure, we're going to look at how to apply Loctite retaining compounds onto a cylindrical assembly. First, we're going to clean the parts using Loctite ODC free cleaner. Secondly, we're going to apply the 609 retaining compound on the leading edge of where the bearing is going to mount. We apply this product all the way around. When we slide the bearing on, it will fill all those little imperfections that we have within this assembly. Let me grab the bearing. It's that easy. Just like with our liquids, starting with clean nuts and bolts, apply the material in the direction of the thread, in the area of engagement. Now, simply spin the nut onto the bolt, making the assembly. A little bit of friction there lets you know that it's, you did apply enough material. Set aside and let, let cure. The fixture on this material is about 30 minutes. It could be sped up with the use of a primer. We recommend Loctite 70, 88 stick primer. For making an application with this primer, simply one swipe down the side, apply the material, the anaerobic tape, over the area of engagement. Now this, this bolt is primed and ready to go. When I'm done, throw it back in my toolbox, ready for next time. Loctite Quick Tape 249. It's that easy.